you got into acting, yeah. worst job you ever had? Oh, God. Before I got into acting, I was an actor for, well, I guess I folded jeans at a gap. And that was not great. And you lasted there for how long? Like two weeks. Um, okay. I also was a waitress in a, a, a Middle Eastern restaurant in Cleveland, Ohio called Aladdin's. And that was not great. In you, which my biggest tip was from my mother, who bought also the only bottle of wine that had ever been sold from Aladdin's. And it was not good. Um, did they make you sing A Whole New World? No, but they should have. But I think that's from Little Mermaid. Uh, you're right. <laughs> Wait a minute, A Whole New World? No, that's Aladdin. A Whole New No, it's about her under the, is it, the sea. Is it Aladdin or Little Mermaid? A Little Mermaid. Damn it, it's I could Little be Mermaid. wrong. I don't feel like I know any tunes from Aladdin. I, okay, anyway. Yeah, right, right? You're gonna. Right, so I'm wrong, you're right, fine. Fine. Be that way. Check one for me. Exactly. Jumping into the movie today. Yeah, uh, let's just jump in I, there. I absolutely dug this movie. I mean, I don't know what the right word I'm trying to look, but it's Did a, you know anything going in? I saw it at Sundance at the premiere. Oh, yay. Okay. And I lost my mind in the theater <laughs> because it is not what you expect it to be. No. I'm calling it a new type of high school reunion movie. Fine. How are you describing this to people? I'm going to start doing that as well. I think it's like, I think that it is, yeah, same thing. I, I, I started reading it uh, I thought oh this is really well written but I've kind of seen this before like we've all seen you know I knew the tropes I knew the like and then it just t about a third of the way in it kind of just like subverted itself in a way that I did not anticipate in any way and wasn't ha like wasn't like written for like huge jokes it was actually written like kind of romantic she didn't say that but you know like if the event ha you know what the thing that I was most impressed with was that they propose this thing, this thing happens, and they don't bail on it. It's like follow, they follow it through to its, to, they follow it through, they like take to the, it's great. I don't, they don't pull any, it, so that it actually becomes less and less about what happened and more about him and his journey. I'm very impressed with the, what they pull off. In this movie, uh, and I think what what and without going into anything specific, yes. I think also the fact that it's uh, it it plays it emotionally honest, yeah, and it's it's uh, it's like a realistic portrayal of stuff, yeah. but still, you know what I mean? No, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like it's it it literally they just they they take it to its natural and honest its conclusion. Like I, they these people react in the most honest ways. I think that you would like. I mean, I don't know. I I you know. I don't know if Stacy. I mean, who knows? I don't. It's pretty marriage shattering, or it could be to some marriages. I don't know if they end up together, but I do know that she sees him as a grown man for the first time. I think. A hundred, like hundred percent. Yeah. Uh, did you know how was this one of these things where they gave you the script and you're reading it and you're like, what? Yes. You know? I did not. I'm mean, yes. That's what I mean. I th I started reading. I thought, uh. I've seen it, you know, it's good, but I've like seen it. And then I, oh, I did no idea. It just, and also then I saw Mike White and Jack Black. And like just that, those collaborations are always like my favorite. I just love that, that combo. And to know that Mike was producing it and that Jack was in it, I just, I, I just knew that tonally it was going to be in a sweet spot that I was going to, that I was excited by. I just saw the trailer yesterday for The Visit. Yeah, so, me too! So they're finally, I was at CinemaCon where M. Night, w Night introduced it and talking oh, about it. Oh, did he it. do it at CinemaCon? Yeah. Oh, that's exciting. And so, uh, but the movie for me looks like it's batshit crazy. It's yeah. like, are you kidding? Like it looks legitimately like he's returned to form. I think so. So what was it like working with him and being in that project? Uh, yeah, it was tiny, secret, little, low, low, low budget. I mean, especially for him. It was very low budget. It was uh, a ball. I mean, it was really, we rehearsed for a long time. The script was, it's small. Cast is really small, as you can see. Sure. And it was, um, uh, I absolutely think Return to, I think he. that's what he wanted to do. He just want, wanted to get away from like, the, all those notes and noise and money and what you owe, you know, stockholders and like, you know, you know, all that noise and just try to listen to himself as an artist again. I'm excited for him. I really am. Yeah, I think it looks and really And it was a pleasure working with him. Like, he is an actor's director. He was, he was really, like, we dug deep. 
Uh, you just recently worked with Vigo on Captain Fantastic. Yeah. That's another project I'm excited about. Yeah, it's a beautiful script. What can you tease people about it? Who do you play? Matt Ross wrote it and directed it, who is, um, uh, he wrote such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful script. I play um, Vigo's sister. He plays a gentleman, a father, who kind of lives off the grid with his uh, family of five, a single dad. I kind of, and um, it's about letting his children grow up and leave him. <laughs> this nest is so sad. Uh, it's Heartbreak Hotel. Do you remember, it's not like this, but do you remember Running on Empty? Yes, River Phoenix. Yeah, Judd Hirsch. Yeah. It's like that vibe of like, oh, like your kid is, gotta let him go. Sure. It's the worst. Um, you were a part of Parks and Rec. Yes. Uh, I, one of my, I, I love that show Me so too. I'm much. so sad. Right. Um, well, when you look back on the experience of making it, uh, I'm beyond sad it's over. Uh, I know. What do you take away from it? And uh, what is it like to share the screen uh, with Ron Swanson? <sighs> and that mustache. <laughs> yes. I mean, forget it. We also got to share the screen on We're the Millers, too. We were husband and wife. Exactly. Another fabulous mustache. He, I mean, forget it. I would say that the, the bar is now forever raised on like what a network comedy vibe can be. Like, they, they, and it's all from Polar and Mike Shore. And like it just drips down from the top. Like there, it just that that set was so crazy, awesome, awesome. I loved every person involved, and everybody loved being there. Dance parties in the hair and makeup trailer every day, every day after lunch. I mean, it was like the greatest, like utopia vibe. Uh, I'm and like what a cast. Yeah. They're all superstars. I'm, yeah. I'm very sad it's over. Me too. On, on that note, I'm going to leave you and say congratulations on this. I hope people turn out.